Hello and good evening. Today we're going to have an opportunity to cut and fillet a bronzini fish, which is a much up and coming, more popular, often farm raised fish that is um, much more available these days. And it's a great option, it's one that I love. So I wanted to talk a little bit about it. First, uh, just to notice that when fish is on the fresher side, it'll be nice and smooth. Now, Bronzini doesn't have any scales, which is a nice thing about it, so sometimes we serve it with the skin. I'm going to go ahead and take this, this fish out. Um, when I get it from the market, I like to give it a nice little rinse under cold water. Uh, by the way, if I don't take, eat it as soon as I purchase it, I like to store it with ice on top, keep it as cold as possible. Anyway, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make fillets out of this. Some people do actually cook these whole. That's a, another type of preparation. But um, sometimes when I want to have a, since it is slippery, I want to have a good grip. So a paper towel or even a regular terry cloth towel is good just to kind of make sure it doesn't go anywhere and move around on you. So first I'm going to get underneath this gill right here. And then there's another gill right here that I probably could include, but I'll trim it off later. But I want to go ahead and kind of cut through and get through that and then cut through this and come around to the head. That sort of separates the head from this side of the fillet. As I go down here there is a little bit of a backbone that I can feel but I don't really want to cut through that. Okay, now what I want to do is sort of show this side a little bit better. We can see that obviously this part's the backbone where the top fins are. I want to run the knife and usually somewhere, you know, long, smooth strokes, just above, not right in the middle, but just above that, and then sort of down in towards the backbone. And at first, I just want to break the skin. And I'm kind of using the towel to kind of hold it tight, because it usually when you have a nice, if it's loose, it doesn't tend to want to break through as well. All right, so now I've cut through the skin, and that was one skill there. Now I want to make sure that I can get down here and sort of find the backbone a little bit, and I'm kind of using my thumb to kind of lift the meat up. And now I can see that I've found the backbone there, and it's kind of good to do one long, smooth stroke if you can do that. And once I get to the backbone, I sort of start up here as a little bit of my guide, and then Again, using the thumb kind of helps. I'm exaggerating a little bit. I don't have to lift it all the way up, but I want it for the camera for you to see that I'm riding right above the backbone and sort of pressing down with the knife as I glide over the bones. Now here's sort of the rib cage here. And at some point the bones are gonna stop and it's gonna turn into more like the belly flap. So that tends to sort of separate. And then I'm gonna kind of go a long smooth stroke here. And now this side comes off, and I kind of went over the top of the backbone there. Long, smooth strokes is always good for making it not look too chopped up and nice and smooth. So, there's one half to trim it slightly. I'll go ahead and cut that little belly section off. And that's much more of a finished fillet. I do want to feel for the little pin bones that are in here. Okay, I can use some pliers, which I can include here with me. Or what I can do is I can take, I can feel that they're right here and they usually go about one third of the way down. So I'll go here, I'll go here, and I'll just sort of cut that little section out. And that ends up with this.